Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use Zoho Creator. Um, it's a powerful tool. It allows you to automate processes and essentially create um, low-code low applications that help you, you know, as it says over here, design, run and develop any business software you need. So first things first, you're going to need a Zoho account. Now, if you don't have a Zoho account already, I recommend you create one using the link in the description as it helps out the channel. And once you have a Zoho account, you can head over to zoho.com forward slash creator. And once you're there, let's, let's go ahead and click access Zoho creator. So, let's go. Now, this is the first time this account has been, is being used to access Zoho creator, so you'll see step by step what it's like to get started so as you can see it says in the next 30 seconds you'll create your first app so we're in IT I'm a team member blah 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 we're gonna skip through it and we're gonna call this Zoho tutorial app All right, I'm gonna make it red so Zoho Creator is very interesting. It can be used in many different ways. It's ultimately extremely customizable. Now, um, some people compare it to the likes of Zapier, where you can automate certain processes by just through linking accounts. I think it's great to use for pretty much anything you need. And uh, yeah, so let's mess about with it. So here we go. Um, now it may be a bit confusing to start off with um, however it really isn't too hard now we can view what it looks like on mobile now you're going to probably need to download the app you're going to also need to download the app on tablet however we'll start off by creating a really basic uh, app on the desktop so you can see that everything is grouped by assets now this is because I've just set myself up as an IT department and this seems to have created an asset list however I don't necessarily want an asset list um, now this is quite unique you might think oh this is what Zoho has just created me well it is and this actually is um, an entire app that it's just created. So, for instance, if I'm an IT, if I'm in an IT team and I'd like to create um, an asset list, which is very important, here we go. I just go over here and I type in my asset ID and my name and whatnot, and my purchase date, and then it immediately goes into the list. And in the list, I can have a group by type. Now, um, let's have a look at the back end of this because this was a pre-made application. So let's edit this application and see what it takes to make such an app. Now, um, yeah, so as you can see over here, we have a bunch of basic fields. Now we can start off with asset ID, asset name, asset type. Um, essentially, what we're going to do is um, we're gonna start at the top, right at the, right at the top. So the app that is created over here is a basic form now if we go if we click if we click up here so it's a slight drop down menu in the top left corner um, you can see things are separated by um, f uh, there are four different options really you have form pay you have form types you have reports types workflow types and page types now it just truly depends on what your app is doing um and it uh you know whether you have each of these types because the app you just saw really was just a form that goes into a report all i have is form and report types however if for instance i have workflows as you can see over here maybe a note if a notification is received from linkedin send an email containing the notification that workflow will show here if i have any custom pages those pages show here but we're just going to stick to our basic um, form that filters down into report. So if we have a look back at the assets, we're going to click on forms. And um, and yeah, this is the form. So it doesn't look 
doesn't look too much like a form. However, if you click on each of the asset names and purchase it and all of these, you can begin to edit the fields. So we're going to call this asset ID test. Just so when I go to the live application, you can see what I mean. Um, and then you can do this with the further. So this is very similar to Zoho Forms, really. It almost is word for word like Zoho Forms. You know, if I'd like to add a phone number um, section, I can add a phone number section. Um, and so I'm going to click done. And we'll let this go through. And now you can see on my tutorial app over here, um, you can see that there's another phone number section. And this is called asset ID test. So um, if I want to access this application, let's have a look. So this is what it looks like on the live app. Now, all I've showed you is the form so far. So we're going to go back to edit this application. And um, we're going to go back to the assets over here. So we've already created the form asset. Now, when people fill in the form, it needs to go to a list so you can view the form. So if we go to the asset list over here, now that's just the name of it. If we click asset list, we can now configure all the fields. So we'll configure the fields. So the first, so these are all the fields where which are directly pulled from my form. And these fields will fill out on the report. So essentially we can add new fields such as phone, because I don't know if you remember, but I added the phone section to the form previously. Now I can't really add much else uh, purely because nothing, there's nothing else to come from the form. So I can add other things such as added user, added time. Um, I can, you know, I can do added time. This is this is good. So you can see when someone filled out the form. And this will filter down into your report. Um, I can also edit the style of such things. Now, if you don't, as mentioned before, if you don't have anything in your form field, it will not show below. Um, the reason there's nothing there now is because I already have them up in my section. So, now that the fields are configured, I believe I can probably also view them here. I'm just going to exit that off. And now you can see, uh, briefly if I don't hover over it, uh, added times. This is when they've actually submitted the form. I can edit the layouts. I can even create a custom layout. I can even view a detailed view of each individual form. And I can even edit the layout of this of the detailed view itself. Um, but we won't do that because I think it looks perfect. Uh, and the same thing in the report section is the group by type. Now we can see the assets are grouped by. Again, it's just another simple report. So all in all, Zoho Apps is quite simple. Um, or Zoho Creator, actually. It's quite simple. It allows you to create something that would seemingly be an app, something quite hard, but you don't need to use any code. And there are some areas where you can use code but it's not necessarily anything crazy. Nothing crazy enough that you probably can't generate with ChatGPT. That's why if you look on the website, it's advertised as a low code solution. And they should really call it a low to no code because as you can see here, this is, you know, if I wanted to create this myself using Python or whatnot, it would actually be quite hard. I'd need to learn all these different separate technologies and use databasing tools whereas this has it all built in so but what I've showed you today really is just scratching the surface now um, there are so many different things you can do with Zoho Creator you can create numerous individual workflows you can see all I have is Zoho Tutorial app here you know I can create another app I can create forms I can create uh, sorry this is just for my app that I already have however I can create as much as I'd like, I can really do anything. Um, like I said, I've only showed you a very simple means to it, how to get started, what you need to do. Um, however, you can create much more complicated apps just depending on what you need to do. And uh, yeah, so thank you for watching the video. Like I said, if you need to create an account with Zoho, I recommend using the link in the description. And yeah, have a nice day.